There we are. Good morning, afternoon, evening, day, night, wherever you may be. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another installment of our hopefully long running um plot series. I see above my head. We put it on my head actually. I have some friends be joining me today. We have doo -doo 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 -doo. Our good friend Nordic and Chimp with us today. And I think they're doing some Pokemon. So don't forget to check them out too. But I think I have everything ready. Everything pulled up. We're going to continue from where we were. I have my list from last time. We will get to the end of this collection. We will actually get to really play in the game instead of following this little checklist to make sure we get the whole all the mission started, right? But then again, I kind of figured, no, what? Yes, just four hours, I would have gotten it done. But apparently, I, I get sidetracked way too freaking often. Sorry about that. 
that's all right my astronaut yachts they like they like the tangents right i hope you do because if not you know they might have found the wrong person because that's kind of all i do on accident anywho let's jump back in let's get myself unmuted as well oops there we are i'm back And now I am pulling up my I'm put my stream. If I can find the game where the window went. Mm, too many windows. By the way, do y'all prefer if I keep myself on like push to talk so I don't bother you guys too much while I'm streaming? <laughs> cool. So I don't bother you guys too much. Where my button's at? Okay, I think that works. Ah, and who's winning in the Pokemon battle? <laughs> nice job. Do I have you guys unmuted? There it is. Gotta make sure. In case anyone, all, anyone who listens to my stream thinks I'm talking to myself, I have you guys unmuted so they know I'm not. We have weirdos here with us today. <laughs> Smush. All right. Oh no. I think my game's frozen. Just started too. <laughs> Never mind, I'm good. Okay. It was almost frozen. So, what were we doing in our stream? We had... Our to-do list. Where'd I put you? We got everything done from meeting Cogsworth. We need to find her son. We have to kill that guy who freaking shot our wife. We got the radio beacon put together. We finished the museum quest, I'm assuming. We found the crazy little girl. After, after leaving the museum again, talk to Preston and the gang and the stranger and go in to Fallon's administrative building and do the quest given by the girl. Then went outside again, go to Sanctuary, follow the stranger's quest line. It will further introduce you to Sim Settlements. Uh, after leaving the museum again and have talked to Preston, okay, and gang and the stranger go in the fallout. Okay, so talk to the stranger and then we're ready to go. Bother everybody, whatever the heck Fallon is. Oh, I need to change the radio. You know, I love these songs. I found out the terrible truth, apparently. Somehow, in some way, even these oldie songs, somehow they're being copyrighted or copyright striked or restriction stuff. I don't know. It's crazy. But which song was it last time it was? Oh. I don't remember what it was called. Ain't comes to my head, my mind. I remember looking up last night because I was very confused. But one of the songs apparently restricted all sorts of weird copyright stuff. Don't forget the price we paid to get this far. Okie doke. Excuse me. Let's move out. I'll take the point. Hold up. Um. Nope. Nope. 
Ah. That's how we stop getting in trouble. Nope. I refuse. I'm the only. It's unlocked. Not sure what's going on there. Tumbleweed tunes. Sorry, that sounds perfect. If I remember right last time too, these other radio stations are actually really incredibly high quality. So we got turned down a little bit. Apparently somehow radio stations of old days are actually coming through clearer, I think, than today's radios. I don't know. Keep my headphones in to make sure I sound decent. There it goes, connected. Let's see, how loud is that? Oh, wrong button. How loud? Are these buttons? Nope. Right nope. Now, you better be going to Diamond City. All right, talk to stranger. Oh, damn. That was, I mean, you just took down a death claw. Color me impressed. <laughs> he liked it. Holy All shit. The sound from our firefly must have lured the blast thing out. And where'd you get that power armor from? You know what? Never mind. Those folks who just passed. They were the ones trapped inside the museum, I assume. You get them all out safe and sound? Yep. Hey, perfect. Yep. Yep. Short and sweet, huh? Well, all right. Glad to hear they're safe. Good on you. I'm just glad we were able to save their lives. I'm just glad we were able to save their lives. All right. You held up your side of the bargain. The Raiders have been dealt with. Now it's my turn to deliver. If you'd just like to follow me, we'll get you your ace, Sams. So, talk to Mr. Stranger. Go on to Fallon's administration building and do the quest given by the girl. Okay. So, <laughs> follow him first. Welcome to my workshop. Or at least what's left the Raiders in Smash. It's me, Dusty Dude. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, you know, some air fresheners, a coat of paint, would be as good as new. Some air fresheners, a new coat of paint, and it'll all be good as new. Despite the mess they made, it doesn't look like they took anything important. Most of my equipment is still here, including your reward. Here. One whole box of ASAMs to do with as you see fit. You earned them. Oh, he makes them nice. Inside the box of ASAM sensors is a copy of Sydney Manager 2078. It includes tons of options and tutorials. Ooh, okay, I might need to do that. Here's a little extra for helping those folks inside the museum. Good deeds like that deserve to be rewarded. Well, thank you, thank you. Happy to help. That's not all. If you remember, I also promised to show you more things you could build with ASAM sensors. I'll meet you back at your settlement. Don't keep me waiting long now. Don't keep you waiting long now, you hear? Nice. The more boxes of ASAM sensors. So he just makes a bunch. Ooh. Oh my god, let's see. I can remember how to do this. Um, if you chosen the passwords incorrect, the number of letters that match the terminal's password, both letters and position, will be displayed on screen. Okay, see if I can do remember to do this. Sweet. Apparently I'm a freaking genius. One took one shot. Well, this place sure seems nice enough. I only came here looking for more ASANs, but reckon this old store might make a nice base of operations. Hell, it's even got a working terminal. Beats trying to hook a keyboard up to my pit boy. Not to mention there's a big old box of shipping records here. A few packages were sent out only days before the bombs fell. Maybe I can track some of them down. Note to self. Um, being the Silver Shroud Jake, you are, and not the Silver Shroud. Uh, what does that mean? Should I be Jake and not the Silver Shroud? Trying to sneak into the satellite station was stupid. I was just lucky I got away with only a few scrapes and bruises. Could have gone a lot worse. But I'm not willing to give up on that place just yet. Those ship records said something big was sent there. And it had something to do with the ASAMs. Maybe some kind of computer. 
Might be worth trying to hire someone to help clear out the place. Set up a fellow with ASAMs today. Did the usual song and dance. Showed him how to build a home. Um, had him set up his own farm. But honestly, I don't think he really understood any of it. Not a second after I turned it back, the guy ganked the sensor out of the ground and started using it as a hoe. Oh my god. Am I wasting my time with all this ASAM stuff? Maybe Commonwealth is an interesting route in rebuilding. Poor guy. So he's just trying to rebuild everything since the beginning. Um. My bigness. My overweight. Barely. Okay, what weighs the most? Holy crap, minigun weighs a lot. I will drop one shotgun. I will drop some pipe pistols. Oh, I got a lot of pipe pistols. There we go. Let's drop four of those. Oh, wrong button. What a goblin just flying. And then, shipping records. Pallet crate. <laughs> Cargo. Big ass crate. So, we're looking for a big ass computer somewhere in a warehouse. Like it. That's where people are shooting from, huh? That's where I fell asleep earlier too. Okay, okay. And we can't fall. No fall damage. Beautiful. Now we can do the little little girls mission. How do I find missions? Oh, T, I can level up. Ooh. Oh, this is thing I might want. I want strong back. Tab close, close. That's not the yellow building. How the heck do I find missions? Oh, there we go. Hello. You're welcome back. Doesn't sound like it's going very well for you. Yes. Uh. What time is it over there? Mm -mm. 10 o'clock. It's crazy how late it is. Oh, I'm clicking buttons. Go. Every time I push the tilt button, it causes the console to pop up over here and fall out. I gotta remember that. Mm. Big man, we woof woof. Woof woof to you too. <laughs> <laughs> Is big man one of you two? It's me. 
<laughs> I like it. I was confused to see a wolf wolf. I'm like, uh oh. I'm gonna have to have my dog from this person. <laughs> now everyone's confused. What the hell kind of radio are they put in Fallout now? I didn't change my button from the tilde because I keep bringing up the system thingy. Dumb. I had a little thing out of Sogin, Eleanor. Bora Fi to some. Oi. Hello, hello to some feminine. Okay. Hmm. Oh, just, I fick tillbaka revenge. Oh, nice. Mm. Och jag den till. Uh, mm -hmm. Men prata inte om vad den heter. Nej mm. Alltså Belmer. Ja, jag råkar det. Alltså, nu har jag 23 000. Hur många Pokémon-bollar tror jag vi kan köpa då, då? 23 000? Mm. Jag tror du har råd med... Typ... 11? Nej. 11, Nej. Kan säga så här. 11 stycken kostar 2 200. Ja, sen börjar ju råd med typ så här. Vi kan säga så här, jag har 33 stycken nu och jag har 16 000 kvar. Oj. I don't know what this is, but it sounds neat, so I'm quiet. Sorry everybody. Jag vill inte, jag vill inte bara köpa vanliga, jag vill ha lite pengar till om jag har fler bollar. Om du köper vanliga bollar, då kommer du få Premier Balls också från var varje tio. Ja. No. Jag tror jag ska gå och duscha snart. Åh, det var jävligt skönt med en kall dusch. Vad säger jag? Syrran har mun jag på dem också. Så. Jag ska bara ta ner de här till Lisa. Det är snart tid till att... Åh. Och sen så. Har det fyra. What language is that? Yiddish. It sounds so cool. I had to stop thinking. I was just listening. Like, what is this? It almost sounded Spanish for a second. I was very confused. Yeah. All right, back to the game now. We're not. We're no longer be a. Uh, we're no longer be a. Uh, abused by the amazing sounding of Swedish sounds. Shower, call my sister. Use all the warm water. Oh, poor Nordic. No. He had a cold shower. It sounds terrible. I'm sorry. Where the heck was I going? Yellow. I was going for yellow. Um. I first walked in. There it is. Fallon's administrative building. Murphy's Law. Is that it? My 
Alright, here we go. Who's being seismic tossed? I think we've got our answer. Here we go. Ooh, turrets. Can't break in? That's a no. Let's see if anything in here. Oh, I can't do the power armor. Uh, what? Was well, I not supposed to bring it in here, maybe? Okay, I'll leave it outside, maybe. I don't think it wants to go inside. Oh my god, it's too much. What is all this? Alright, practice speed reading. Everybody's gone. Ball yeah. members, we have no sign out. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. we're good. Okay, I stopped speed reading. Instant reading more. My brain turned off. Let's try it again then. So to all members, we have noticed a higher than average instance rate of shoplifting over the past two quarters, especially when it comes to small jewelry items and dresses. Sales associates are not advised to directly confront ses customers. That's normal, isn't it? Security is employed for a reason, and our protectron should be more than up to the task of once properly notified. The unfortunate deaths of the last two shoplifters were, of course, <laughs> due to the factory error, and no one should feel guilty about you for a second. Oh wow, these are some pretty hardcore protectrons. Um, HQ seems matter should suffice if media inquiries persist. Oh wow. These are some pretty crazy protectrons. According to Guam Coast Chief Operations, every two seconds someone in the U.S. needs blood. Aww, it's like Iron Mouse. Right there, the platelets and plasma. Make sure you guys donate if you can. Involves blood, and has permission to start your favorite part of the job. Oh, that's nice. 
up there. If you find yourself in a hole, first thing to do is stop digging. But just... Them losing... <laughs> just cells because people are dying of tectrons. It's just a bunch of business stuff. Looks like nothing interesting. I want a, a way to break into that freaking lock case. Everybody, got some news. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. What's going on? Sounds of explosions. Did you hear the news? We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What the hell's going on? We've lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh, that is bad. We, we do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, oh, no. confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York. Oh my God, it's happening. Pennsylvania. Oh my God. My God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's a whole lot going on. Was that fucking recording? Jeez, I was only freaking massively slightly intense, eh? I need a drink. Where is it? Sunset Legend. Thank you. Still thirsty. There. No way I could pick this. The terminal's got this locked. There's no more options in the terminal. Is there another terminal? Oh. What? what? Oh, little guy. What's happening? Someone losing? Oh. My friend did just go into shower. Y'all both getting ready for bed or what? No. No, no, no. Not yet? Not late enough? Like in uh, one or two hours, maybe? Oh, that's not too bad. That's good. You're, ooh, it says you're live. Is that you playing Pokemon Live on the Discord? I wonder, do you think there's a way that I can show like an EDB little window of your little Pokemon so people can watch you play Pokemon too? Mm, yeah. Now I'm curious, let's see. Oh, 
Oi. That little dude's named Orem. Don't let Orem die. Better Pokemon that is named Aura must live forever. Yeah. The funny part is uh, this game is at actually free. How so? Whoa. How do I do this? I can do like this. Um, and then we need to do, 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 do. that file is uh, the whole uh, game. Oh. There we go. Does we make it so we capture part of it? No. There we go. This is cute. So old. How do you like? Is there a way to like crop windows? Could fall asleep there. Um. There we go. On eight fifty. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'll put this. <laughs> I think I got it. Sorry if I confuse anyone with that, but that's kind of fun. So I think I got it. In order to click on stream, I have your little window down the top left. Yay. Like a little pit boy in a pit boy of Fallout. Dusty Dude. You're probably asking yourself, does he ever sleep? I like Dusty Dude. Well, take this. I'll get all the sleep I need when I'm dead. 
So what game is that? It's free. Yeah, um, I uh, the link. Okay, okay. Okay. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Where are we? Ooh. I lost it. That's because I clicked away from it, huh? Ah, there we go. Oi. If I make it small, it all goes away. Okay, I'm learning, people. I will have to move it then, though. I hope you'll see chat. There we go. Right here. Now for my to-do list. Over here. All right, I can see everything just fine. Workshop etiquette. Oh my gosh, so much reading. Not many bother reading terminals in these dark times. Yeah, I wonder why. The event you are, come on in and appreciate your surroundings. Life out there is exhausting. A place like this can be yourself. I trust you're alone. And if you aren't well, I can see you, but you won't be able to see me. I've put some of my work on display. Please enjoy and make yourself at home, provided you follow a few rules. Do not touch the fuel box unless you intend to disable the water and power. I've added a safeguards against interior decorations on the lower floors unless you can discover the secret to circumvention. Leave your Brahmin outside unless you'd like to get their guts painted on the walls. And your skeleton splayed. Alright. Think twice for handing or heading upstairs to the top floor without an invitation. Thank you for reading. Alterios. So for centuries, hockey mask has been associated with homicide or virtual security risk and a flag of psychopathy. Hi. Yeah. Uh, where is uh, Borium? I swear, folks. Borium is at work right now. Another one of these pesky raiders trying to rob me once again. You won't be done for another four hours at least. Including the time to bomb, I activate any time I see those sons of bitches coming near. And then I go pick him up. So that's about how long I'll be streaming, at least for now. Boom. I like this. This is me. I find the mask to be an ideal means of avoiding small talk without offending people. It's also terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. Oh no. Only than you. After thousands of hours watching my 20th and 21st century horror film collection, I've concluded there are certain tropes that need to die. Let's split up. That way we no longer outnumber the threat we're dealing with. Running upstairs, know your exits when your mass killer is chasing you. Agreed. Mirror scares. I wonder why they're showing us the scene of the protagonist opening a medicine cabinet. Okay. Based on true story. Never is. Oh my god, there's so many. 
Evil dolls. They're foot tall and lack basic motor skills. <laughs> so kick them. Evil children. Once you determine the kid is evil, explaining to the thirties how to pint-sized tear perished by your hands is the only realistic challenge. Okay. Always double tap from celebrating too early. Hitchhikers. Does that ever end well? No. Dumb kids. Somehow they're all completely used to the uh, obvious danger until they become possessed or go missing. <laughs> Und untimely sex. Mm -hmm. Useless police officers. Oh, God, yeah. The killer's in the back seat. Because, of course, he is. Opening door. Thank you. Ooh, militia outfit. Don't touch. He's right. All right, one touch. It's stuck. Looks trippy, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna put this away in case he's still here. Ooh, what's happening? Don't beat the crap out of me. Oh, so don't beat the crap out of me. Congratulations, you've been enslaved. As you regain consciousness, you realize your weapons and armor are gone. Oh, fan freaking tastic. Oh my gosh. Stupid girl got me freaking kidnapped. Oh, this does not look very good. They're having too much fun. I'm hoping that said a word. This didn't take my freaking. Oh shit! You fuckers, really? Give me Jingles the monkey. I died. <laughs> I didn't know I stepped on. The pressure plates are where? Straight fried. Got the tries again. This time, hopefully, not explode. Where did I go? There it is. Five tries again. I have a baton. All right. Think like that. Why did it not work? What killed me? <laughs> you? <laughs> oh, it's a tripwire. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay. How hard does that hit? Yeah. It's hard when I. Okay. Ah, crap. Nope. 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 Oh. There we go. Nice. Detected how? Rule breakers will not be or will be shot. What's going on? You okay? I'm fucking hungry, and so is everyone else. We need some water soon. Nope. If this is my life, kill me now. What the hell is going on? Dock collar. Need some water, real. They took my ring, you little shits. The fuckers, they took the ring. Okay, what the hell do I gotta do? It's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated belly. That's why sugar bombs are engineered to please both your child and not damage his or her tender, tender brain. Mmm, they taste so amazing. And they'll make you remember everything you read. What the hell am I listening to? Look, of course, mother. Sugar bombs are made with nutrients. Oh. Stimulants. Stimulants of nutrients. Breathing taste and performance together in a potent... Nordic's having fun. Cocktail. It'll provide a day-to-day -day breakthrough in your child's life. I can see the future! Sugar bombs may last up to 12 hours. After that, it's anyone's guess. Buy two boxes and get a third half free until supplies last. Cereal Oi. has seldom been so crispy, so fresh when it hits your stomach. Blasting your brain with Don't make me mute the soundboard. <laughs> Sugar bombs are built. Round up to prime you for <laughs> I can't tell what I'm hearing in the game now on the soundboard anymore. It's everything. What the hell? Even monkey. Oh shit. Key. 
Dude, they have freaking ship bars everywhere. Start with left to make my way around. Freaking machete. Oi, put your block in. Oh, shit. Oh, he, he freaked me up. I mean, headshot. That's dangerous. I reckon you're still listening to me ramble on about nonsense here on Double We Dudes. Thank you for listening to me ramble on and on and on and on. That's what I do best. Okay, what I find? Do I find some good stuff? <laughs> Got pistol. I'm not putting on a shot collar. There we go. Got some gear. Yeah, we're getting some gear on. I came in, remote door control, open, okay. Stay back. What? Oh no, this one, okay. When a new fish arrives, they are to be stripped, disinfected, subjugated to full, oh my gosh, full cavity inspection to ensure they aren't smuggling anything in. This should go take place in a full view of the other slaves for maximum psychological effect. All personal possession, all personal possessions are recatalogued and boxed up and stored. The traps are for show. Most of them should be kept deactivated, but please remember which ones are live. Brit Butch. Radio ad should be played over the intercom at no longer than 10 minute intervals to ensure continual disruption of prisoner sleep patterns. That's a mean. Remember the concept of a prison is quite simple. Freedom, movement, and access to basically everything is restricted. But it should be so much more. It's a place where dignity, privacy, control are given up to guards, where isolation and boredom can drive someone insane. And where the simplest of necessities should be luxuries. We are the business... Oh my gosh. These guys are terrible. Oh wow. These guys are just evil. Uh, I love that you <laughs> synthetic robot rascals try and act so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. But not all are like special. 
<laughs> Alla är väl lite speciella på isgången. Okej. Okay. I think I fixed it. Is it? Now what? I'm going to take that fusion core by the time I leave. Oh shit! Not again! Who's here? Relatively, what is value? At Fallon's, each price represents our pact with the customer to bring things down to a manageable level of value that also takes luxury. The sonar is up here with the stupid commercials. Mass production techniques may have brought things up to speed. Oh my god, and freaking grenades everywhere. Oak and varnish tradition that really keeps things classic. Ah, that's progress. Finally broke a bobby pin. Hi. Give me our fatigues. Better armor than I got. Yes, all right. All right, where are we at? hear them nordic and chimp are having a lot of fun all right what do we got now how much reading is oh my gosh <laughs> nordic calm down <laughs> Who does maids apparently strong? Oh wow, so this is everybody getting lucky that they made it through the freaking explosion in the first place. Everybody's dead. So they vaporize Boston. So they went through the thick of it and then try to figure out how the hell they're gonna deal with the aftermath. Oh my god, it's like a whole freaking essay or novel here.
They wait a century to even come out. Oh man, it's like a whole freaking novel, isn't it? I, I'm not going to be able to read all this. Make my head hurt. I'm supposed to be getting through the whole intro stuff. Come on. I didn't even touch you yet. Why does everything require the terminal? Ooh, bourbon. Master key, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> More speed reading. I am not reading all this out loud. Take forever. I will only read this out loud if everyone tells me to read it out loud. And I don't see anybody tell me to read it out loud, so I'm assuming we don't have to read it out loud, right? Farm under the ruined pass. Okay, okay, so these are where the farms are. My neighbor Isaiah was looking out his window when this all happened. I think I might go have a word with him real quick. See if he witnessed the same thing I did. Am I losing my mind? We got a lot of farms to find. Oh my gosh. How much is there to read? Oh, they're talking about the Minutemen here. Okay. <laughs> oh, Murphy, that's the girl. She wants you to find Murphy. So what happened? Murphy left, supposedly. Tab back. Open door. All right, let's get my stuff back. for stealing that.
Oh, you ain't a leather armor now. As moonshine. I got plates, like I'm gonna use those now. So I got to finally meet my next door neighbor after that strange UFO incident. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty down to earth dude. Goes by the name of Isaiah Pendergrass. There it is. Hold on, why? All evening talked about our strange travels. Found out he's hosting his own radio station like himself. He's a cool cat we all hear on Cadillac Jack's radio shack. Good enough. I had to introduce myself after that UFO encounter we had out here. He's still right, and where the hell was I going? Well, neither can I. There's some very strange things happening. Let's back up. Can I free this the people? What's happening? Oh, good morning. <laughs> I'm still here. Oh, I need to turn off that freaking progress tomorrow. Now, next week, an exciting new series begins chronicling one man's journey into the mind of a communist. It's true. I've shrunk myself down with my atomic relay and managed to pass through space on a molecular level. Deep under the earth, I built my fortress, an impregnable fortress that cannot Ooh, guns and bullets, thank you. Boy, you off. I implanted a control chip on the brains of each of my servants that allows them to pass through, as it were, to travel between worlds. <gasps> on, on their brains? Yes. Yes, on their brains. If I take out the so freaking power, does that turn off the stupid commercial? Communist. Ooh, Vault 101! An astounding that. revelation of man's cruelty next week on The Brain of Dr. Darius Testardo. That's the way out. How do I save these people? Birthdays tomorrow? <laughs> Hello. We're in some real trouble here. How do I free these people? I 
wasn't born with the name Dusty Dude. It was a nickname I earned back in New Vegas from working for the NCR. Funny story on how I was doing the Dusty Dude. Maybe I'll tell you all about it a few songs later. First, here's some music. Nope. Because the Raiders, maybe? I didn't see it do anything. save you hey there I'm fucking hungry and so is everyone else hey just don't hurt us how to free him a thought all right let's find out I know give me strength What is weighing so damn much? Perhaps we should much. introduce ourselves. Wet my whistle. Names and murders. Then upstairs to the top floor. I've, seen I've a lot got a proposition time. for you. Some good. And uh -oh. don't worry. Well, we'll, we'll play bad. nice this that time. Doesn't matter. Especially when I'm sipping on a nice cold hot sunset sasquatch. I like the name of that. Find out what the asshole wants. Mm -hmm. Be smart. I want to say first. Okay, so we just were earlier, the bastard. Oh, what's up? Are you the one talked? Jersey? Ahem. If you 
ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Okay. Medical. <sighs> oh, quit being tired. Take the extra, don't need that. This on delays the other one. Yep, all right. Drop that. Uh, how hard these new weapons hit? Dusty Dan was pretty scared when he came across the herd of death claws. Oh, perfect. Courage. Two things about courage courage is being scared to death. Up Vim? If you're worried about added protection, let me ease those fears. You look scary. <laughs> oh, you're a merchant. Okay. Just looking to trade a little. Just oh my God! It's in my face. The skibbity toilet stuff? I have no idea with any of the skibbity stuff, man. That thing is all sorts of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds terrible. <laughs> You guys were doing the freaking skivvy thing as Mike Wazowski? Yeah. Oh my god, that makes sense. And it is terrible. <laughs> you guys are tired. It's getting late. That's what's going on. You're getting delusional. <laughs> Someone needs to help you guys re lose your minds. Hopefully boredom gets done soon. About your what? Oh, the um thing you put in Discord? Well, the car is awesome looking so is the other one too that's us wondering how you made them what did you make them in like i used you make things in blender dang 
You were very talented then, I would say that much. <laughs> Someone's turning to a snake. Okay, is there anything I don't need? I don't need any of that. You can keep that. Now where are we going? Jeff play games. Hey there, Jeff. We are playing some Fallout and we have our friends Nordic and Chimp. They're playing some Pokemons in the background. Welcome. Hope you're having a good time so far today. Jersey again. Impact. Ooh, gold. Where the hell? We're now in the middle of figuring out why I got kidnapped. I have no idea who it was or why. You like this mod list? Oh, I'm loving it. So far, at least. I'm trying to get the whole like everything ready for the actual little steps and everything, but it's been amazing so far. I did not know where I was going though. Let's see. I played Fallout 4 a long, long time ago on Xbox. And the only thing I could have was like that, what, two or four gigabyte limit? But I had fun with the whole Sim settlement. Then I found some other ones. Like, oh, this is neat. And only recently got Fallout 4 computers. Like, oh my god. I can play all mods. Yes. The Story Wealth Collection. And I saw Sim settlements and plus so many other things there. And it's. Everything I looked at so far said is just about making more than our already was all the stories and factions and uh, enemies. I was just like, oh, look, as soon as I saw that. And then like an official add-on to add survival elements. It's like, okay, yes. Or I guess the collection's official add-on. However you put it at. It was amazing. Right now, I think I'm almost done the whole first part, which is kind of getting everything set up for the game. There we go. You're playing yourself right now too? Amazing. How far are you in already? Oh, I was just here. I swear these people. Do again. Hi, Sloan. Oh, there we go. Back upstairs some more. Oh, here we go. Found the people. Not here shooting. I'm taking the Nuka Cola Quantum. 
There we are. Excuse me. You're Murphy. Admit, I'm impressed. Still, I hear it tells me this was all her little ruse. No hard feelings, huh? I'll make it easy for you. Surrender now or we'll kill you. Don't get all mushy. I had a barley broke so I kicking their asses. Is this how you cheer everybody or are you just putting on a charm for me? I will not remember. <laughs> I will not be recommending this place. SSM? Let's see. I don't remember what SSM is. Oh, Sim Settlement. Okay, okay. So you're a bit further ahead than I am now, eh? <sighs> Exhaustion's growing. Okay, I'm working on it. Is this how you treat everyone? Or it's Harley Quinn. On the charm for me. And a sense of humor, too. I like it. Sorry for any misunderstanding. We're a shoot first, ask questions later kind of place. Never can be too careful with looters breaking and entering these days. Don't misunderstand. We're not criticizing you. Those were fair kills. You didn't know who we were, and we didn't know you from a random looter. Thankfully, Stella fessed up. Hey, I was just trying to have a little fun. How was I supposed to know they were in a common criminal? Oh, she was yeah, in our yeah, little we're shit. All friends now. Let's skip to the part where you help me. That's rather presumptuous. After taking out two of our crew, I wasn't under the impression we owed you anything. Well, that all depends. What kind of help are you looking for? Hold on. I have some questions first. All right. That guy looks ridiculous. Me. What do you want to know? You already made it back to um sanctuary there, Jeff? Does it get bigger? Hopefully. I remember it was very limited on Xbox. Um, good, good first question. What do you do here? What do you do here? After what you've seen, you really need me to spell it out. We're slave traders. Not gonna sugarcoat it. We deal in raiders mostly. Capturing them and once their spirit is broken, selling them to slave owners up and down the eastern seaboard. A few miscreants we let work for us if they show promise, but the main goal is to ship these degenerates outside the Commonwealth. Could you tell me anything about the kid? Uh, Stella hasn't had it easy. Her dad was never in the picture, and her mom raised her at University Point most of her life, until the Institute torched the place. I met Stella and her mom, Judy, after they fled to Quincy in 2285. Helped them build a life for themselves there. And then the Quincy Massacre happened. What was the Quincy Massacre? Uh, we can Bleach get into that the time. Let's just say that life's greatest dangers often come not from external enemies, but from our supposed friends, who pretend to work for the common cause while scheming to sabotage it. When the Minutemen betrayed Quincy, most of the residents ended up slaughtered by the gunners, Judy. Oh, man. I managed to get Stella out, and we made our way north to Concord. And that traitor Preston followed us here. And Preston's not a traitor. He was working with Clint the whole time. And now he's right down the street, and you still won't do anything about it. We've been over this, Stella. Innocent until proven guilty. You want me to focus on keeping this place safe from the gunners? Or waste time dealing with the loudmouth fool in the silly hat. Both. I want justice for what they did to my mom. And like I explained, you'll get it if you have patience. Garvey will get what's coming to him eventually. But for now, wait, hold up. You hear that? Uh oh. I'm saving something's happening. I started the quest as well. Oh, nice. The start of this quest is insane. I did not expect to take my crap. Twenty hours? Oh my god! Oh, there's so much to Sim Settlements. It's so much more than Xbox. I am not ready for that. Look at she's little gun. 
Okay, something's happening. I need to wake up. I need that one to wake up. All right, this hopefully wakes me up. Oh, wrong button. What the hell's going on? Oh, shit, we got a whole crew here. Ooh, but I need a... Oh, nice. Just whooping everybody's butt. Ooh, I can help you. Oh, nice. Hilarious, look creepy. Should I be intimidated? Watch my back. All of them? Nope. Uh oh. God damn it. Oh shit, she just chopped people around. Almost done. Um. Um. Okay. I got the way. No one's gonna know. Just run. They're kicking everyone's ass. Holy cow. Good job. What is going on? Excuse me. Hey, thanks for your help. Didn't expect help from a stranger. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been here. Well, back to my story. <sighs> so completely... Those guys were tough. What are you I'm freaking tired. Most of the words that spring to mind ain't the ones I'd say in polite company. Hey, it was fun. If that's what you call fun, I'm glad you're on our side. Looks like it was your lucky day. You can say that again. I guess it could have been a lot worse. Anyway, we appreciate the help. All right, thank you, thank you. I'm happy to help with anything I can. We could sure use some help fixing some of the damage, but we'll make it. We always do. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Not looking to cause any trouble. You weren't afraid the Gunners will retaliate? It's gonna get worse. Way worse. Gunners never back down that quickly. They'll attack anyone they think is too weak to defend themselves. There's nothing left they're afraid of. All right. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. My dude is tired. You interested in traveling together? Hmm. Now there's a question I don't get every day. You help me? You know what? I'm gonna take a chance on you. Lead the way. Oh, nice. That makes things easy. I need to sleep apparently, because my dude's about to knock out. All right. He got to big gunfight, and I need to rest before he freaking passes out standing. go 
Head's a little messed up again. Apparently, I need to make a doctor's bag again. My dude can't see crap. Wrong one. Oh, wrong button. There we go. I need antiseptics. I'm going to turn off that effect. So if you'd run the same thing with the um, uh, survival one too there, Jeff. Looks like probably not a good idea to turn on the blurred vision when you get hurt. Something happens with the contusion thing. It does not want to go away. There we go. Hopefully that fixes it. I'm ready to do a force refresh too. There we go. Back to MAME. Hi, Larry. You look trippy, buddy. <coughs> you seem different from most of the people here. Why is that? <laughs> How did you end up here? <laughs> like Pyro, I love him. Come on, tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? <laughs> This is possibly the best. So what are you going to do now? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh. Really? <laughs> so he is the best conversationalist in this game so far. Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? <laughs> he likes a mask. hiding? Have you seen yourself? I don't think it's a hard mistake to make. <laughs> Why is this such a big deal to you? <laughs> hey, no pressure, right? Having formed a psychopath psychopathic bond Larris, he is now available to be a companion. Not only are you able to understand him perfectly going forward, provided you have the sub subtitles enabled. He has also granted you the Butchered Pete perk, allowing you to fight more like a horror movie villain. Alaris sells a variety of hockey masks. Alright. Uh, fight the guy. <laughs> I like him. So these are like different kinds of... Are these the companions? Are these the companions of Fallout 4 from like Skyrim? So you're Harley Quinn, obviously. Now's not a good time. Let's chat later. You sound like her too, that's nutty.
Wait, can I open this without getting in trouble? Got it. Shotgun shells I'll take. So I need to go back upstairs. Boom. Oh, they didn't have any gear for me? You did. We have to continue our conversation now with our friend up here. Hey there. Want to look good? Then you're going to want to see what I've got in stock. No thanks. I'm good for now. Thanks. Fine. Silly little bastard, you tricked me. <laughs> Where the hell were we going? There we go. Hey there. I was afraid those guys might show up. Thanks for your help. You all right? Careful out there, folks. So what was all that about? What was that all about? It's complicated. What do you know about the gunners? Um. Give me the short version. I don't give me know. Give the short version. All right. I'll sum it up. No one's really sure where the gunners started out. But something changed about eight or nine years ago. Out of nowhere, they started sporting plasma weapons, advanced combat gear, and even vertebrates. Doesn't make any sense. Where did they get all that stuff from? That's a good question. I guess, I don't know. People bitch about the Institute, but look at what's really been going on. Quincy, GNN, Mass Bay Medical, Mass Fusion, Two Vaults, and all the major freeways. It's the Gunners, not the Institute, who've been gaining the most ground in the Commonwealth. How much of a threat are they? No one invests the resources to capture those strategic locations without a larger agenda. Someone's behind it. We're just not sure who or what. At this point, there's not much to keep the Gunners from taking Good Neighbor, Diamond City, or the towns up north. Is there a reason that you're bringing this up? You mean besides the fact that we just got ambushed here in Concord? <laughs> there needs to be a group to stand up to these assholes. Someone strong, organized, and local. And I'm not talking about the Minutemen. I mean someone with real stones. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ultimately, you gotta ask yourself who you want protecting things. A bunch of Muppets who can't defend what's theirs, or hardened killers who can handle themselves. Well, I hadn't yeah. thought of it that way. Uncertainty is sometimes better than an overt threat. If you build a reputation for being a little crazy, your opponents are never sure what messing with you will cost. So, they tend to avoid finding out. Settlers he sounds tired. Settlers that kind of fear. Whether it's against raiders, synths, mercs, super mutants, or even mole rats. They've proven time and again that they're incapable of deterring threats to their property over the long term. The Minutemen worked for a while, but they ended up self-destructing. What happened to the Minutemen? Depends who you ask. The challenge with running a militia is that volunteers inevitably have their own agendas. For a coalition to last, there needs to be a chain of command where members don't feel too constrained by your influence but still fear you enough to follow your lead. Maintaining morale requires convincing soldiers to think less about themselves and more about the group. Involve them in a cause, a crusade against a hated enemy, and make them see their survival as tied to the success of the militia as a whole. Of course, it's easier said than done. Somewhere along the way, we lost that sense of common purpose. Infighting took over and the militia gradually splintered into different groups. 
Murphy is part Some of it. Some became raiders or joined the gunners. Others just disappeared. Quincy was the final blow. And now we're back at square one. Jesus, what a mouthful. What's the plan again? Whether it's the gunners, the institute, or who knows what other groups are out there, they're too powerful to take on directly. So we've got to use our weaknesses as strengths. If your enemy is big and you're small, then by extension, you're fast and they're slow. You're hidden and they're exposed. So we break our forces into independent cells who can operate elusively and autonomously, fighting only the battles we know we can win, capturing the enemy's weapons and gear along the way. And using those tools against them in the next encounter. That way, the enemy is supplying us, and we grow stronger as they grow weaker. Makes sense, I suppose. What's our next move? The gunners are calculated and cautious. It's gonna take them a while to figure out what just happened, which provides us an opening. The critical elements in any campaign are speed and adaptability, making decisions faster than the enemy can. Striking first, before the gunners have time to assess and formulate a response, may throw them off balance. Their nearest outpost is up on the freeway, southeast of Walden Pond. That's likely where the attack came from. The freeway wasn't particularly well guarded to begin with. Probably even less so after the raid. I want you to head over there, take mm -hmm. out their remaining guards, and steal their weapons so we can fortify our presence here in Concord. Prove to me you can handle that task, and I'll have a larger project for you when you return. And if you want bonus points, there's rumor of a raider stash over by Corvega. We'll mark the location on your map. Wow, they trust me quick, don't they? <clears throat> What's shaking? Hey, got any gear for sale? Take a look. What is all this? Murphy shotgun. All right then. That was all I had. You got it. I know I do what the hell's going on. Overdue book. Not to make him a criminal. <clears throat> Didn't Murphy give you a job to do? Alright, calm down, little Harley. DOO's terminal? There's a lot here. Holy cow. on the internet here looks like oh my gosh they actually have a complaint okay I need to read this some other day we start to finish the whole Jesus Christ yeah fun there <laughs> Work them having fun. They just fa found something apparently an anthem to Mike Kozowski. <laughs> I am so glad I made sure to turn off freaking Discord for stream. <laughs> Pat, I've saved you from so many things. Nordic and Chimp are going crazy over there.
Oh, I hear shooting again. Oh, there they go again. That would be a dance party. You know what you need to do, Nordic? You need to start a stream on Twitch later and have a whole EDM dance party with all your little soundboard stuff you make. Well, folks, I think I might rest my eyes here while these next pre-recorded songs play. <laughs> you have everybody yelling Mike Wazowski, yeah. Hey there. Mike got a little bit of everything. You buying? Wanted to trade a few things with you. Go ahead. Raven's bikini, okay. Hey. You need something or someone dead? You've come to the right place. You selling or it? I'd like to trade some items. Go ahead. Is that everybody now? Dun, dun, dun. Damn it! <laughs> You're gonna get that stuck in my head! <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> I have to warn everybody against you when using soundboard in any discords now Eden. She's the only one I haven't seen. I think I talked to her. Lady? Did I talk to you? Rough night last night. I want to trade a few things. I'm sure I've got something you need. Oh. Okay. Where's my dog Achino? Hi there. Hey there. Little shit. Who are you? Karen? <clears throat> I'm not sure what's worse. Wearing a tie or wearing a teddy bear. Just looking to trade a little. Just don't waste my time. Nothing. Okay, so you, not all shops. So where is Eden? Oh my God, I'm just got a headache. I'm so lost. Give me your stuff. Reina? Hey. I talked to you already. Did you need something? Tell me what's on your mind. Careful if you run across a cabin to the south. Bunch of feral <laughs> ghouls hold up there. Ooh. I'm looking for work. I'm arranging a job for... For now, talk to Eden. Uh-huh. Tell me what's on. A debt owed. What's the word around Vault 81? We 81? don't know much. They mostly keep to themselves. Right. Is that Rumor the one I'm supposed is, to find? Their vault has maintenance issues. 
So they developed a stimulant to help their repair crews work longer hours. I need that. We oh need God. a way to tap into their chem supply. That's where you and that pit boy of yours come in. What exactly is the plan? Once you're inside, things get a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. I need you to find someone with access to their stimulant supply and convince them to become our inside connection. <laughs> How are you guys adding so many things to soundboards? Holy God. How do I make contact? Yeah, I've saved you Nordic and Chimp adding an un an unholy amount of different crazy things now to the soundboard. If I didn't if I didn't silence it, it'd be in trouble right now. Could you be more specific? Do you know what got I'm sorry to hear that. I can see where this is going. Just tell me what you... Okay. I have no idea what the hell is going on with her conversation thingy. We need to find Eden or a way down. Either way, I'm okay now. I don't. I just want to go. No way I could pick this. Wait, that is Eden. Wait, then who else I'm supposed to talk to? How do you guys have so many? come back here for that okay think think I'm good I'm out front. My power armor again. Alright, go to Fallon Administration Building, do the quest given by the girl. Finally, on the next part. So now we go back to. Sanctuary. What was that? You guys are having way too much fun in there, I swear. Hey, good to see you again. I hope you still up. I 
should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... <laughs> what the hell? I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. <laughs> Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? I can't even hear anything anymore. Nordic and Chimp were destroying my ears. Oh my god. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Why is it so distorted over there? Chat, if you could hear the unholy noises that I have been hearing, you would understand why I'm asking this. Take your time. My son. Somebody took him while I was still trapped. Have you run across anybody with a baby boy? Damn, I'm sorry, but no, I haven't run across any kidnapped babies. I'll definitely keep an eye out for him. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are men out there, someone. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. The trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Miniman could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Okay. <laughs> hey there. All right, time to show you what else ASAMs can do. Now, generally speaking, people need a roof over their head, food in their bellies, and a place to be working. We already built a place someone could live. So if you're ready, let's move on to those other two things. But it's even harder if you're stupid. Okay. Show me. All right. Place down a sensor again. But this time, we'll use one configured for food production. All right. So a two by two agricultural plot. Go ahead. Just put it down wherever you like. You guys are too much. Yeah, I can never unmute Discord now, I think. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna take on the role of a settler again. Don't worry, I won't subject you to my bad theatrics this time. <laughs> I just want to show you how easy this is.
Now, I can't say I've got much of a green thumb, but thanks to the ASAM, that don't really matter. He's doing his magic over here again. What to plant, when to harvest. Takes out all the guesswork. No fuss, no muss. Well, maybe a little bit of muss. I mean, I am getting covered in dirt. But how's that different to any other day in the Commonwealth? <laughs> sir, welcome back, sir. Thank you, Codsworth. To find some assistance in Conquer. Yes, okay. apparently. Almost done. How were things here while I was gone? Oh, just catching up on old yard work. Some occasional pest control. And you, sir? <coughs> Anything to be found in Conquer? You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't yep. have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Aww. Just say the word. I love you, Codsworth, of course. Yes, of course. Right behind you, sir. Awesome. I'm happy to have a Codsworth flag. Wait, can I have one person follow me? Okay, no. Okay. That it. And there we have it. A fine plot of land ready for cultivation. This from the guy who once underwatered a cactus. I like, I it. like it. Glad to hear. All right. We've built a home, a farm. Next thing is a place to work. You know, somewhere folks can perform a little industry. Gather scrap or do a bit of scavenging, That kind of thing. Go ahead. Put down an ASAM that's programmed for that. Building a two by two industrial plot. Now it. Oh, there it goes again. Okay, time for some industrial action. I'm on. Looks like the sensors have selected a storage. Useful. We need to learn this Robocall magic. Now, any old fool can gather a pile of junk. But if you want cells to grow, you need folks to gather useful building materials. Storage unit will encourage people to do that. Wood, steel, maybe even a little asbestos to help keep warm. Huh. Don't be surprised if in time people start gathering even more useful stuff.
right here. Let's trade some things. Yeah? Necessities covered. Although folks won't be happy with the bare essentials forever, eventually they will want more. Now it's up to you what type of ASAMs you put down, but do try and keep in mind what folks in your settlements will be needing. Excuse me. Hello. Uh, don't shoot <laughs> now. I don't mean no harm. He looks like old Paul. Uh, you don't mind the intrusion. I couldn't help but notice all the commotion. What are you two youngins up to here? <laughs> that is, if you don't mind me asking. Fixing up these buildings, are you? Yeah, something like that. Actually, we just finished building these. Foundations, walls, everything. Is that so? Built them by yourself, did you? Well, you two looking to settle down here, or...? <clears throat> this settlement belongs to my friend here, not me. I was just demonstrating some construction techniques using this ASAM sensor. Construction techniques? Using that gadget there? <laughs> Sounds like Brahmin dung to me. Are you oh, telling first me critic. you made all this using that gizmo? That's right. We're rebuilding. You say that as if building stuff is easy. Hey, here's a suggestion. Why not offer the old time a residence here? Let him experience the benefits of sensors firsthand. That is, if you'd be interested in staying here. I'll admit, seeing you two build with those doodads did pique my curiosity. <clears throat> and it might be nice to settle down somewhere for a while. It is getting dangerous out there, especially for yep. a scab past his prime. Oh, poor guy. But, uh, would an old man like me really be welcome here? But of course, sir. You didn't even have to ask. Codsworth knows what's up. I love Codsworth. I welcome the help. Okay, then, you got yourself a deal. Old Paul is at your service. Now, if uh, you'd excuse me a second, I uh, want to check out this here sensor doohickey. How about that? Your ace sands have already attracted their first residence. <laughs> With that, I'd say our exchange of services is complete. Enjoy your ace sands. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. Thank you, thank now, you, stranger. You excuse me. I gotta get back to the hardware store. Got a lot of important work to begin on with. What kind of work? Just some. Personal stuff I need to take care of. I think I'll find him later. It was good working with you. Yeah, you too. I should get going. Oh, and good luck with your settlement. Hey, where's that ASAM fella going? I wanted to ask him a few questions. What's on your mind? Huh. Maybe you're the person to ask instead. You're the head honcho around this place, right? Barely. Well, I've got a request to make. You see, I noticed that there's a whole bunch of new people around here, so I'm thinking it might be best to put down a few more of these here sensor thingamabobs. You know, to make <laughs> sure everybody's got a home, a place to work, and not to mention enough food. That's a good idea. Well, I've been known to have a decent idea now and again. These ASAM things seem very impressive. But we can only make use of them if you place them down for us. I'll put as many down as I can, buddy. Okay. All right. So first, let me take this so I don't die from my drinking the waters. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna have my guy lay down to save. And then I'm going to unmute Discord for a second. So everybody here can understand why I'm laughing and why I think Nordic and Chimp here are having way too much fun in my Discord with me. And then I'll unmute afterwards so I probably don't get copyright strike. But give me a moment here. Or somewhere I can chill so I can get my guy some sleep. He is tired. I built a freaking... Can I build like a little... Little thing to sleep in? Nothing to furniture, bed. Perfect. Wait, there's a freaking couch right there. Sleep. Okay, sleep. All right, so now I'm going to sleep in the game and I'm going to have everybody realize what the heck I've been dealing with. Are you guys ready? This is what I've been dealing with this whole time from these two. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what these Swedish freaking Nordic and him are doing. <laughs> you guys are insane. <laughs> I destroyed my ear and I probably destroyed all poor chat's ear for that split second. I had Discord unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh. So chat, in case you're wondering why I'm randomly laughing or you hear me randomly yelling at Nordic and Chimp, now you know why. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing with the soundboard in Discord. <laughs> What are you guys? How are you guys finding all these noises? Oh my god, you went through my instance. That makes sense now. Okay. I didn't know you can add it. I didn't know you can add my instance to the soundboard in Discord. Now I know. I will never be able to unmute Discord, no I lie. <laughs> no, it's funny. <laughs> Make a city planner desk.
Pause talk press and switch to the quest to switch to the quest you picked up from in Fallon before. So now we have to finish now the Fallon quest. We'll fight some gunners, raiders. And that would be the last of getting, I guess, like all the quest things open. Let's get it done. First, it's safe. Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. No worries, bud. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... Oh no, he's he lost gone. his son too. Your son. What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was... Kyle. Oh no. <laughs> How did you guys time the sad violin out of curiosity? I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I, we're still here, right? We have to go on for them. Raven goes away. Here's a cool little knife. Tell you what, folks. I love to gain new wisdom about Boston. We got the whole crew coming. Can we trade a few things? Okay, so now I need to do this one, right? Wait on south. Chino. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna have a stream and have you guys like be official soundboard people throughout the whole stream. Watch. Oh, I need to put my stuff away.
How many different soundboard things have you guys made already? <coughs> 14. Oh my god, you guys are crazy. How does how do head injuries work? How do I heal this? So, how the heck do I heal? I don't like reducing medical loops. Hmm. <coughs> well, apparently no matter what I do, head injury does not go away, does it? Do I need to use the um? Specific. I just want to fast travel to there. And that sh I should have a thingy here to make a doctor's pack. And I think that fixed it. Adhesive antiseptic. Keep it because it's interesting, but I'm not sure if I'm keeping it for long. He keeps up the guess. I first caught sight of those evil demons when leaving a pack of ramen out of the good springs to trade with my amigo Doc Mitchell. Weary from my travels, I set up camp for the night. Well, as I lay there, feeling the warmth of the fire, deep in thought while staring up at the Mojave stars, I started <laughs> to feel the ground tremble beneath the roots. At first, I thought it was an earthquake. Then I heard the snarl and growl of distant foul beasts. 
I grabbed and looked through my telescope and lo and um, I don't have a hazmat suit. And it's tired <laughs> and death claws. Evil demons. I packed up my belongings as quick as a rabbit on fire and got the hell out of Dodge. Hmm. Those were the days. Here's another tune for you folks. <laughs> Oh, Medex is what I needed. Ah, oh, finally. This is gonna suck, but we're gonna go. When you guys have a whole new set of sounds, let me know and I'll unmute Discord again for a couple seconds. <laughs> there somewhere. Acid rain sucks. Hi. Who are you people? Hey, you got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. No, I ain't ready for you. But I'm here for a caravan trader. What you got? Or just ask directions to Diamond City. <laughs> Let's see what you've got. Oh, I have a little bit of everything. Let's see. I have a lot of these. I don't need all of them. Sentinel helmet. Might want that. Well, that is expensive. Chat, I don't know if you know this, but in a little bit here, whenever they have a full thing together, they have a soundboard sound of like a demon cat or something. It's terrible.
I don't have Discord unmuted yet. <laughs> I'm, af I'm afraid to at this point. That sound is working on his gambling addiction. Whoever says, Thank you, dude. You were there when I was at my worst and didn't leave my side. Like my trading card? Oh, I had some trading cards. Bullets and fix me up. Paul. You're welcome, little buddy. I was there for him when he lost his tool inside a casino and shit. What happened for a helmet again right now? Am I even wearing a helmet? Minuteman bandana. Oh no, leather helmet. There we go. Three and five. That's better. Slightly. I shall wait for now. Burns. There we go. And are are you guys already got your whole new set of sounds ready? I right, no worries. I'll wait. <laughs> I'm gonna keep playing. Just let me know when. Poor chat's not gonna be ready for this. We had, had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the good. You owe us. I ain't giving these boys and shilling chem pushers anything. But you know what that junk has done to my boy? <coughs> he bought them fair and square, Trudy. We got something going on here. About to get ready for a fight. Ain't our fault if he's drunk. Now. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post. Oh, Trudy, you're What's happening? Excuse me. I thought I told you this ain't any of your concern. <laughs> What's going on here? It's a simple business dispute. Got it? Miss Trudy sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Want to make some easy money? I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. Try talking some sense. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. Appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Where is she? Patrick. Hey there. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. <laughs> well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Why? What's this all about? Oh, that Ken Pusher didn't tell you? He got my boy hooked on <gasps> Jet. Sold him a ton of junk on credit. And now he expects me to pay him off. That bastard ain't getting a single damn cap from me. Look, you owe the money. 
If you just pay them, then this'll be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. Oh man. Turn it down a tiny bit. I can hear myself. Hi. We get paid and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. <gasps> Good job. Here. Now, how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? Maybe later. <clears throat> Got a problem? <clears throat> Got a minute? Never hurts to ask. I wanted to ask you about something else. There's something you want? Tell me what's on your mind. Good scavenging and busted robot. If you know what you're doing. I'm interested in running a job. What's up? Maybe you can help us against these super mutants. The job's simple. Deal with them. Here, I'll mark it out. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. I was dying. What was that? You said you're ready? All right. I'll unmute it from... <laughs> I'll unmute it. Alright, I'll unmute it then for a second for you guys, but then I'm not going to unmute it long because you play a lot of crazy sounds. You ready? Alright, here we go. Alright. <laughs> you see this chat? This is what I'm dealing with while I'm trying to play a serious game. How am I supposed to explain that to chat? <laughs> Anybody's watching going wondering what the hell's going on? They like wrong time they jump in here. <laughs> you guys are crazy. You guys are going? What was that? Sorry. Uh, so you guys are going to go for now? All right. Without the soundboards, say bye to chat, everybody. Go ahead. Bye. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. You crazy, crazy guys. <laughs> oh god all right so that was our wonderful friends nordic and chimp you see they have a lot of fun they make a bunch of crazy soundboard noises i know what to do with them most of the time but it's fun Where was I going? Oh. The rain hurts. Even though it hurts, it's still better. Though I will say, this is what exactly what uh, 
This is like exactly what Starfield is missing. Like random things that happen like this. I played Starfield. I'm not sure if you saw, but I did play it and I tried. It just it felt so empty most of the time. And I understand space, not fun stuff. I get it. But even like on the planets, like where things are happening, nothing really happened. You know? Wow. So apparently this blurred vision is just from the acid rain. I guess we just gotta deal with it. It definitely makes sense. You're trying to run through the freaking radioactive wasteland and a freaking acid rain. Not mess with you. Just gotta try to make it quick. Hi. Excuse me. I've been staying here for a few days now, but I'm running out of food. Oh. Do you, do you know any place close by that's hiring? I'm coming to sanctuary. To work for me. That would be okay, I guess. Where where's your settlement? Sanctuary Hills. I just want to trade a few things. Oh, okay. You're gonna go Sanctuary Hills, I hope? That's so cool. You can find people to send to your sanctuary. Put a seat. That'd be careful. Huh? That hurts. I can level up. I did not realize I've been leveling up this whole time. Dang it, they're stupid little things they play and got my head and stuck. Ooh, mysterious stranger. I remember you from him. You're always awesome. What is this? Medics. I might need that just so I can fix my head problems. Is there a thing that like, reduces like injuries? What is this? More ammunition. Oh, I was hoping to be like finding health. I need health. Doesn't look like it. So probably best just to ooh plus two to perception though. Let's do this one just so I can get a plus two to perception. No. Oh, level thirty six. Oh my god, so far away. Start this one. Just so I can get. More options for making things. Ooh, damage distance might be very useful considering how much you've been hurting. 
Okay. I in the right way now? You go east. Or west. <laughs> oh, east, west. Dehydration worsens. A oh, man, how much do you drink? Get him. Put up there. Enter? Nope. E. Ooh, gunner combat outfit. That's a lot more armor. What's the mission again? I don't know. Not really paying attention. Steal the gunner weapon stash on the freeway southeast of Warden Pond. All right. I'm assuming it's up here. Oh, there you are. You want to help? armor didn't do nothing. I need a scope. Do any of these guns have a good scope? That'd be nice. Hell yeah. I like that. Hope you all like it too. I take pride in it. And which one was it for armor? Armor plate replaced. Hold Y key for 0.4 seconds.
Is it working or no? Then I wonder. I don't know. Don't seem like it. Armor place armor plate replace is is why that is why never mind there we go and then it's for the hotkey I just added to it because apparently it wants to do its own thing. I'm not sure it does, besides why. Made him confess. They locked his lollygagging ass up. He wasn't too happy. Said he'd get me when he got out. Well, where the hell I gotta go? West. Where are we off to? A stash right above us. Yeah, it's above us. All right. Either way is where we gotta go. Any of my guns have a scout or a s you know what I mean? A uh There we go. That's the word. I know, but not really. We're back. Going to take a quick stop to the restroom. Y'all listen to good music for me.
All right, I'm back. Now I was trying to do. See if we can make it through here now. As we have definitely begun our butt kick. Well, hello there. I'm Dusty Dude. Nice to make your quick. The difficulty is a lot harder. I'm, I'm kind of liking this. Song for you, amigo. How do I do this though is a question. This is, I mean, is it even a scout? Oh, it's my best bet though. I use again R. All right. Don't try and make this work. And we're gonna need to top off with some food. Apparently, this is hurting. Can't see. There we go. Take me home. <sighs> that enemy. Yep. Oh, it's weird. I actually clicked on it. Okay. Um. Oh, it's hurting. Mean, they got a freaking thing up there too. Oh, not car. Stop doing something with the car and reload the damn gun. Can't see. Take some hits. I need a better gun. This thing takes too long. Well, well, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did playing it. I'm all by my lonesome here, but in spirit, I'm not alone. Well, this works. <sighs> that worked. All right, we'll use this. Back to the old standby of giant guns. I love them. Ooh, ooh, combat outfit. That thing. How do you use this? What? Mouse wheel? Okay, mouse wheel. I need to put on some actually useful armor. A minigun. Let's try this. Bandage, corn. Oh, I'm not used to this. All right. Now, does that give me something better to wear? better is it okay but I can't wear under armor with everything else
Like straight up military fatigues. Okay, we're dying. We need aid. Oh, finally, okay. Oh, you're high. Oh, that was the problem. <laughs> what could I use that makes me strong? Jet, run. <clears throat> there we go. Impact. Yay for time slowing jet. She's kicking everyone's ass, Shit. isn't she still? What do you guys got? Guard, you think that's better somewhere now? Nope. She launched her, didn't she? Good job. We shouldn't have. Oh, I got him. Your guys' turn. Get him. I'll switch weapon now. Okay. That hurt. He moved? On, oh, nice. <laughs> I have no bullets for it. Good job. How'd I get up there? We can't. Is that useless? There's no, you can't. Okay. How the hell do I get back to where I gotta go? I think it's the last thing I gotta do, like, to do, then I can, like, free explore, like, complete with the collection wide open. Raiders find your first magazine bobblehead and you have kicked off your first faction in Minman. Is that what? Fire Raiders explosive stash and freeway overlooking the Corvega. Ooh. Nothing else though entirely. like it.
Mm, punch weak to health. I'm low on your max. I'm good. I'm like severely dehydrated. My guy, you drink a lot. We're still thirsty. Good now. What's that? Ah, nothing. Hi. Are you friendly? Nothing we can't handle. No. No, it is not. What's that? What I just do? Let's try that. Where is our place? Try this. Let's try Control Y for placing and Alt Y to check. Our plate broken, so it wasn't working. Ha ha! Now we're playing Tarkov. Who's shooting? I'm on him. Headshot. Oh, hi. You are a brave woman. Cut this head off. Good job. Holy cow. Oh, it's already night. The Yagwais are just bears. Very different than Mogwai, I imagine. You're shooting the people over here, right? Hi. Oh shit, you're not people. You're raiders. Oh, Caldworth's getting them? I can hit him once. Bro, you raving? Get in there. I know what's going on. Justice for 
Are you guys not evil? Boss. Settlements? Settlements? We work settlements. Oh, you want to work at a settlement? Work for me. Settlements. Sweet. I got a freaking super mutant to join me. Get on, Hoss Delgado. <laughs> They don't mind. Do you have anything? Was there anything? I was a trader, ranch owner, smuggler, and bounty hunter back then. And we need something that makes here. me resilient. I meet some strange folk in my travels. Too rad. I'll tell you more about that another time. Here's another song for you. Not very resilient to rest. that? Ooh, Nuka Cola grenade. I don't know how the hell we have sounds of ducks in the distance, but we do. Alright, let's try it. I know one of these things was like... There it is. 200 drive resistance. Let's see how it goes. Security's too tight. Advanced can't do it. All right, never mind. I'll come back then. Go on northeast. Whatever the hell this is, is what we gotta do now. All right, ducks. <coughs> really? Acid rain again? He stopped with that acid rain. I'm shooting at. Ow. Rain. Ow, who's shooting me? No, a bunch of bastards. Ow. On the freeway overlooking the Corvega, that's where I need to go. Okay. Ow. Whew, that sounds nuts.
Where's this coming from? Yeah, I'm definitely too used to controller. I'm used to having auto aim <laughs> save me from all this. We're just shooting. Our plate's broken. All right. I don't know where he's shooting from, but can't be that accurate, right? Explosives at. Oh, what? Get him, Puppercino. Oh. Well, there we go. <laughs> Official, what I need now is a damn... Go. I don't know where they're shooting from. Oh, I quit shooting. Oh. Hand made revolver. I'll right, show here. Stay for a second. I'm not going to do all that again. Oh, see someone right there. Without a helmet, man. It's dangerous. Still not enough, All right? Let's get scrapping the armor and stuff when we get back. I'm just selling it. Inventory. What weighs 126 pounds right now on me? From what? Oh, from other stuff. Okay, let's drop this. How do you drop? R. Yeah, we're a lot lighter. Now what do we gotta do? Secure the radar weapon stash at Fort Vega. It's inside? Hope not. Come 
I'm hurting. Fade. Oh, you were fast. Holy crap. Ooh, that was creepy. I gotta go again. Going west. <laughs> Weapons workbench. Good job. Oh, more. Okay. Can I do anything use any of the guns. Premature for that one. Front sight's better than no sight. Yeah, a lot of stuff I like eventually do. How is our armor? Broken. Heads messed up. Which one was it that helped out head stuff? Was it Mentats, it said? It's not. Which one was it? Manitol, sleep, and doctor. Where am I going? I'm going this way.
Mm, that sounds pretty. Bus. Lady, I've been waiting bus here for so long. You good? Medium backpack. Help me carry nothing. This one stick with this one down. Rec Shack. Alright, not sure what the hell that means. Right here somewhere? up here oh you what's your face my face looks stupid Go drug. Drop two of those. Pretty. But everything here sucks and trying to kill me. OK, 
Okay, so it wasn't up here? I need to read this, don't I? I swear, folks. Secure the Raider weapon stash at Fort Vega. Report back to Murphy. See this one now, right? Some things you wouldn't believe. I just got into New Mexico. I was on my way to Albuquerque when I happened across a gang of raiders. They had this arena built out of old pre-war aircraft where they'd hold these gladiator battles to death. I watched a man kill a 10-foot tall mutated black bear with nothing more than a sword and his wits. Smart man. I believe my eyes. I should have bet on the man. Lost about a thousand caps in that bet. Oh well. You win some and you lose some. Mm -hmm. Taking a good minute. I like the Mr. Tumbleweed man. Sounds like me in the morning when I'm tired. What's up, buddy? Hi. Wasn't sure you were gonna make it back in one piece. Uh huh. Trouble out there? Plenty. you a little something for the trouble let me know when you're ready for the next job any news on your side just been cleaning things up here from the raid speaking of which if you want to lend a hand feel free to use the workshops around here there's one on the first floor and also a second one in the bunker have a look around and make yourself comfortable I say you could use it. oh dang he thinks any rest too You. Hey there. Did if you're you earlier. Need something? I just need to trade gear with you. Take a look. Skimpy pants? Okay. Ain't got nothing. That was all I had. Very well then. So Harley is going to start singing the song, I Need a Hero. There, there's some strange gold creatures seen at night out near Salem. Pretty creepy if you ask me. I'll tell you what though, you go interfering with something that ain't bothering you none. It's 
first year. I'm gonna get lost again. What you want? Excuse me. Name's Holly. It's nice to meet you. You interested in having a little fun? I'm listening. So, let me ask you something. Do you ever read comic books? Oh, she's actually Harley. Why does it matter? Old comics are my absolute favorite. I think they cater to oh, human Oh, so she actually Distilling decided to become Harley. Worst okay. human qualities and pitting them against each other in an entertaining conflict. The best ones show us pieces of ourselves and all the different heroes. And besides, superheroes are wicked cool. Couldn't agree more. I grew up in an old print shop where they had a stash of undelivered comics. All sorts of great characters. But my favorite was Holly Quinn. I, I could tell. I first noticed Holly's comic because she had the same first name as me. But as I read more of her stories, it felt like we had a real connection. Why do you say that? Holly was a good person who got drawn into a dark lifestyle because she tried to fix someone she loved. Most girls can relate trying to change a guy who's never going to change. There's something intense and passionate about being with someone who pulls you back in each time they hurt you. No matter how powerful and strong you are as a person, sometimes you lose control. Your obsession keeps you holding on for the crazy ride, lusting after the highs and waiting out the lows. And she got issues, but okay. Why are you telling me all of this? All I'm saying is that sometimes us girls can get a little, you know, overzealous. When we put our minds to it, we're way more devious, scheming, and vindictive than our male counterparts could ever be. And Holly Quinn is the epitome of that. She's an out-and-out -out crazy bitch. There's something you just want to applaud about a character so unashamed of her utterly disastrous mentality. She knows she's crazy, but she wholeheartedly embraces it and makes it work. She's a no-fucks-given, hot-pants-wearing middle finger to the rest of the world. Plus, she's fun, and who doesn't like a bit of fun? All right. I'm not here to argue with you. I wanted to be just like Holly growing up, and part of that never went away. Lately, I've been trying to track down some of her gear. I found an old article in the Fallon's archives saying that before the war, Holly Quinn outfits were some of the most popular costumes for Halloween. I want to find one. And I think I know where to look. So give me the details. There was an old clothing store called Hot Topic down at the Monsinga Plaza. <laughs> How they spell it's perfect. When it is, they were in the business of selling Freaking overpriced Hot Topic. merchandise to teens who wanted a gothic or punk look. And if the Holly Quinn costume was as popular as I'm reading, maybe they've got an extra outfit or two lying around. So where do I come in? I don't care much for traveling down to that area without backup. Place is crawling with raiders, and everyone else here thinks that chasing after an old costume is a waste of time. But you, I've got a feeling you might be different. So, what do you think? Will you come with me? <sighs> All right. If that's what floats your boat. All right then. We'll head out when you're ready. If Hot Topic doesn't have it, I know a couple other places we can look. Sounds good. I need to go home. I need to go bed. Apparently. Wait, actually, they have a thingy here for head stuff, right? That's not chemical. Workshop. Chemical. I can break down weapons now, I said, right? <laughs> Crap, yep. Crap with R?
That's a lot better. I'll keep my old trusty tongue. Alright, I'm good. Now I'll probably die of dehydration apparently. Let's get back to you're still listening to me ramble on about nonsense here on I didn't that one out. I think that's all my stuff, right? From this point on, doesn't matter where you go. It's all open game. All right, that is finally. So doing that mission supposedly for him gets me started all stuff I needed. Thank you for listening to me ramble. All right, so fast travel back here. That's what I do best. My guy can get some sleep. We can take a look at setting up how this settlement stuff is. I could probably go to like little setting things. I have my thingy, little tapes, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I see, like, there's so much to do. I'm loving it. Yeah, I know I need to go to sleep. Now I'm new around here. I wanted to introduce myself. I just Hello. wanted you to know that I'm ready to do whatever it takes to make this into a real home. So let me know if you have anything you need me to do. Right, we'll do. Yeah, let me show you. Go ahead. My guy needs some sleep. Hold down V. I'm Dusty Dude, and you're tuned in to Tumbleweed Tunes. tired I used to live here you told me up didn't you ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you I'm here fuzzy I, I can't see nothing that ice box this whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from isn't it the site mm -hmm. can help you kid it always has answers just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. <laughs> the chems fuel the site, so it's not always going to be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. You crazy? Maybe. Let me think it over. Well, it ain't like I'm going anywhere. The site will be here when you need it. All right, I'll think about it. I'm not sure about... Having you do a lot of stuff though. I swear, I must have seen this. Yeah, four more hours of sleep. I was walking down to Diamond City and I heard this blabbering, raspy voice. No, I'm well rested. My head's still messed up. Like a stomping noise. I hid in a nearby bush and lo and behold, this one legged hillbilly sounded synthetic just topped on by. I 
the sound of that's a good old Billy Bob from that old world radio station out in New Vegas. Strange things you see out here in the Commonwealth. Hmm. And what helps me with drinks? Melon? Oh, screw off. Crafting. <laughs> Cooking station. Need concrete. Oh, I can't do that one. I can get no. This? Does this count? So, air quality, what do I got? Ooh. Hi. Where's the person? Hey. It's you. Up. Hi. Hey there. Trading? Um, yes, please. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I got. I need drinks. I'm freaking dying. Hey, she has an ASAM sensor too. Ours accept. Some of you folks are worried about the increase in number of sick of mutants in Boston. I got some advice for you worry words out there. Worry is like a rocking horse. It's something to do. It don't get you nowhere. Right. Get up off your asses and do something about it. Oh, okay. I forgot I have an APC. Oh, I don't want to get on ever. Settings. City manager. What this is about. Taxes looks like I'm not gonna touch that. Gameplay. Well, that's a lot. Mm 
when on FSC is being used, the sleep plan items will be wired and powered as closely as possible to the original sleep plan's design. When off, no wires or power states will be changed on objects. This will require manually picking up some item and placing them down again. Which in general, this should be left on. I only play it on. Ooh, auto. Thank you. Go back. That was my best Roman. My neighbor Isaiah was looking out his window when this all happened. I think I might go have a word with him real quick. Um, it's the same thing I did. Am I losing my mind? This next song goes out to my dear old Bessie. Needs must be met in order buildings to be eligible to upgrade. Are you happy with your decision? I wanted to mostly be able to handle themselves. They shouldn't need me to take care of them like all the time. I'll figure it out myself later after that. Following you. You should appoint them to become your mayor. Then they can deal with the genius task. You bring the focus on the big picture. Don't take offense to Marcy. Each mayor will bring their own She's talking through the loss of her health. Of course, none of them will be as good as you would be, and will certainly have some personal failings and weaknesses. But let's not dwell on the negative, shall we? Okay. What's this? That you can replace them at any time. Thanks for listening. I, I'm fine with all this. My head's still messed up. 
you need, I'd buddy? be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. I'm delirious. Where'd he go? Where's Mr. Miniman? Are you both following me this realize the whole time, huh? Have Harley Quinn and whoever this slasher chick is with me. Ooh, hi. Meat man. Shipping man. Yeah, is. I make you mayor. You ask me. Freedom's always worth fighting for. Hell, neither can I. There's some very strange things happening out here in the Commonwealth. How do you sign people? go can't tell you what to do Enter select. Enter command. Sign. Yeah, tear it all down. Go ahead.
level something actually. Oh, do we crash or? What happened? Who goes there? Did I get a stealth thingy earlier? The plans available for Sanctuary Hills. What does that mean? Ooh. Why can't I grab? What's happening? Oh, you guys are actually working on shit. Industrial building class lock. Building materials. Settlers assigned to a building of this type will focus on gathering building materials instead of mixed junk. Ooh, neat. How are you doing? Better? Razor! Worse! And bad! Razor! Boring! <laughs> At least we're not boring. You have plenty to do here, bud. Honestly, not the hell we're doing, but hey, I'm happy. Oh! Oh, multi-person homes! We got home homes. What in the hell are you guys doing? Oh, there's all bad at this, but I'm trying. Guys, to get rid of the one I I I started. Let's see. If they did, I don't blame them. It was pretty bad. Oh, they did. Okay. What y'all doing? Billy. Really? I don't think I know who you all are. Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. Okay, okay. Hope you ain't one of them since he had a spy on me. Okay, hi. Um, hey, oh, it's you. You're the one, you the one who put out the pumpkin? radio message. Is this your settlement? It's very nice. We had to leave her home, everyone was getting sick. So, if you're looking for people and it's no trouble, well, we'd like to live here, of course. Of course. Go right ahead. Oh, thank you. Don't worry. We're willing to work. Just let us know where you want us.
What do we got over here? Ooh, we got more turrets and the gates. They're doing a good job. He fixed the um. He didn't fix the uh bridge though. Oh, it looks amazing. So much better. Where are you working, big boy? Girl? Oh, there's those. No, super mutants. We, we, they're just super mutants now. You shooting something? The rat roach? All right. Still building. Hey, stop that, please. It can't be good for the sensor. But it won't work right. That's no reason to go beating the living daylights out of it. Well, how do I make it do what I want? I wish I could tell you, but I really don't know. Then you don't know that kicking it won't work. Yeah. <laughs> Municipal. Oh, pollution's a thing. Oh, wow. Hey, stop that, please. It can't be good for the sensor. But it won't work right. That's no reason this. to go oh, beat the living again. daylights out of it. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Maybe you they're going to loop into the young lady. What's the problem? It's this sensor thing. I want to build a store, you know, somewhere I could sell stuff, but it won't work. A store? I don't think the sensors can build those. Can they? I don't see, I don't why, see not. why not. Hmm. You know who would know? That ASAM fella. Maybe you should go find him. Ask him what else these sensor flibbity gibbets can do. <laughs> Liberty gibbets. I like it. I'll go, I'll go see, see him. him immediately. Oh, well, that's great. In the meantime, I'll get the new arrival settled and hopefully prevent more property damage. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. He's trying. Good job, man. It looks like a Harley Quinn. What do you think of this, Crowdsworth? I don't think the stove needs to be here. In the last workshop, I want to store the stove. a little bit better now. Dusty do here with another word of wisdom. Never approach a bull from the front, a horse from the rear, or a fool from any direction. Can I use this now? I would really like to use that.
Hmm. What's too close to? There we go. All I can use, I'm happy. Oh, my bed. I can get a good night's sleep in my own bed. I'll wake up late. There we go. No resting. You know what? This one hell of a start. I like it. Everybody's out there having a good time. <clears throat> hey, how's it going? What do we need in? I need to ask you something. Any place you want me to pitch in? Hmm. What else do you have? Can I get you a drink? <laughs> What's on your mind? The scaven gets thinner every year, but I get by somehow. Working for the NCR of New Vegas. Took a job scouting data and intelligence. What are you thinking about? You should have a drink before bed. That does the trick for me. Alright, well thank you, thank you. I think I've got everything I need to know. Oh, okay. You know what? About to get going now. I noticed they had a prisoner kept inside a cage like a wild animal. I think one second. Let me double check. Three that were left to guard the camp opened the cage and proceeded to try to have their way with that poor young girl. I couldn't watch anymore. I took sight, let out a breath, and pulled the trigger. I managed to cut two of them down with one shot. The last mover got scared. He lost his ghoul and ran into the sunset with his tail between his legs. To be continued. That was a yes. Looks like I'm basically setting off on the old duster trail myself here. I guess we're at the call good for now, but we're finally past all the intro stuff. Now we are officially free to do whatever the heck we want. And apparently now we made sure we don't miss anything. I guess we'll call it good. Catch y'all next time here when we get back to it. In the meantime, I feel I should not you guys take care of yourselves. Have a good time, a day, morning, evening, whatever you're doing. But take care. I'll catch y'all back here next time for more Fallout. I think I'm going to enjoy playing this, especially all these mods. I'll try to figure out the settings and stuff later, but I think I got it pretty good. If not, pretty fun so far. It can only get better from here, right? I'll save it. One more save. Just to make sure. Load exit save. Okay. Guess that's the one we're playing on. I guess we'll call it good for now. So y'all take care in the meantime. You have a good time. I'll see if I can make it back and play some more if I have the energy. If not, then I'll join you tomorrow. Regardless, catch y'all soon, okay? Try not to miss me too much. Careful of any crazy nukes go off. Find a shelter. Don't trust Vault Tech. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Take care. Bye 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 bye. screen.
in the fusion of our dark star where the quiet waters flow for every ends a star in the black hole sunstream till i return to you keep alive our digital dream